Welcome to this episode of the Fan Men Podcast. I'm DJ Go. Chris Davis. Sean Hogarty. <laughs> that level of excitement, huh? Apparently, uh, we have day. we have a Star Wars theme going on. Uh, yes. Echoes. Yeah, must, yeah. Echoes. It, it, only for people who are actually looking at the video. Everybody else has holiday. no clue what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes, mm. correct. Uh, um, so yeah, so this week was uh, May the 4th, Star Wars Day, which has yeah. become a uh, kind of a big deal. Yeah. Um, especially this year when there's nothing else to, <laughs> to do besides yeah, watch for Star Disney Wars. Plus, yeah, post, post Disney, and... post Star Wars crap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Did um, any of you guys watch anything on Star Wars Day? Pop one of the movies in? I did. Yeah, I watched Temple of Doom. There you go. <laughs> that kind of counts. Han Solo, Han Solo and, and kids. Yeah. It was a Lucasfilm. You know. <laughs> was there we go. Lucasfilm. I saw Kathleen Kennedy's name all over the place. So I should have watched Willow. I know. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen Willow. Really? Willow's yeah. badass, man. Willow's yeah. an awesome uh, movie. I, I have. It's a lot it. of fun. I've just mm. never never seen it. Um, yeah. I didn't. I did uh I did some movie related stuff, but honestly, I wasn't that cognizant of it being the fourth. I mean, I barely know what yeah. day any day is right now, so but not a big surprise. Yeah. Clearly it's you're a, not on the Lego mailing list because they oh, wouldn't let you forget. They yeah. went ham. Oh my god. Oh good <laughs> lord. Yeah. Um nope. I, I, I got a new ho- receiver. That's I was going to say. Oh, there you go. I, yeah. I got a new theater receiver. Not Star Wars related. Uh, not Star Wars related. In fact, to tune it up, I was watching Blade Runner, not Star Wars. So I I m- clearly missed out. I, I should have thought of it. You know what? Yeah. Honestly, in the old days, before the prequels, I would have put an Empire right off the bat. Now, it didn't yeah. even occur to me, even on May Actually, the 4th. You know what? I lied. I did watch Kevin and Mark's live stream. That counts. Oh yeah, they that count. Counts. Yeah, late. I look night. like a Q-tip. I need to put the hat back on. This hey, at sixty-five, <laughs> like there's only so much you can do. I'm not and sixty-five. Just, just natural. I'm I was trying to be nice. Sixty-five. <laughs> I, uh, I, I had New Hope on just on my, in the on the phone while I was working. I was too busy to do anything yeah. Star Wars related. I watched something we'll talk about in a minute, but uh, there was just too much. There's actually too much Star Wars crap now. Probably yeah. this year because everyone's like, I'm going to live stream me talking about Clone Wars. It's like, this is, yeah. Jesus Christ, enough's enough. Like for <laughs> me, every day Star Wars have. Day, yeah. I watch yeah. the movies so much anyway. Yeah. I don't dust them off for one day a year. I watch them every month almost. So yeah. at least one of them. So so yeah, so we're going to go over all the news that came out. Star uh, May the 4th has become the a big news dump day for Star Wars stuff. So we'll go over that. Um, got a couple of quick hits on some non-Star Wars related news that fits into what we talk about. All right. Uh, what do you got? They have written the entire first season of She-Hulk. Oh. That's nice. all in the can now. Um, they're going to start casting soon. Where's that going to air? Disney Plus. Disney Plus. Interesting. Okay. Yep. And they've also confirmed that She-Hulk will tie into the MCU. So the actress they cast as She-Hulk will tie into the MCU. My guess would be into That's the Fantastic Four. That makes sense. Yeah. Because yeah, she, she was a Fantastic Four yeah, member at one point in time. Yep. So Gina Carano, Gina Carano. That was after when Thing left, right? Yeah, she filled in for Thing. She need, mean, you, if, know, you need one one tank. If it's yeah. Gina Carano, is there a backdoor pilot to merging the MCU and the Star Wars extended universe? <sighs> don't even get me. Don't even tease it. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, you got to keep them separate. Keep them separate. So there's that. That would make um, May the Fourth want, related. No, no, no. You don't want to dilute the products. Yeah, no. You're a better businessman than that. Well, I'm just poking DJ. I don't care. No, I know. I know. Also, the uh, the trailer, um, like the go live trailer for Star Girl on DC Universe, dropped. How was it? The old Justice League. I didn't. I didn't the see Justice that. Society, Society of America. Yeah. So wait, what? It, what is this? Um, Star Girl. Yeah, but Jeff live Martin action. Star Girl. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yes. the next like CW show kind of, but oh, it's on the I DC totally, universe. I yeah. totally missed it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they uh it's been on the drawing board for a while. Jeff Johns is show running. Yeah, yeah it was supposed really. to start already. Just writing it. But they yeah. they they held on to it for a while. Cool. I'll have to, um, I'll have to so check that out. Yep. Yeah. And then um last thing is for some reason they're doing a demolition man too. I don't know Stallone why. Stallone and uh and what's her name? At least Stallone in Wesley Snipes. You're not getting Sandra, Sandra Bullock? Bullock back. No, you're not getting Sandra Bullock. Oh, come on. She would love doing that. I blame the people. You caused one toilet paper shortage. All of a sudden, we need another Demolition Man movie. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, hey. We've seen the shit you watch. Demolition Man's fine. Uh, good. 
I did. Uh, did you guys see the trailer? I don't know if this is up your alley or not, but it's it's like prime Hogarty, Space Force, Netflix. I was getting, Steve Carell. I was getting to. Oh Jesus! It's uh, um, it looks yeah, awesome. Go ahead. It looks absolutely awesome. Yeah. So it's gonna be a Netflix show. Uh, Steve Carell is basically like an Air Force lieutenant or some kind of Air Force commander He's who a, everyone thinks is, is a huge general, dope. Right? I'm gonna oh, try not general? to slap either of you. Yeah. Well, the one of you that's wrong. Yeah. They don't actually say it's Netflix. No, they literally say. <sighs> oh, I, I watched it. These are latest recently four-star promoted four star general. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like the I first line slug. of the trailer. Yes, yeah, very star. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, congratulations on your promotion. You're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah, no one. I guess like no one likes him. Or thinks he's a dope. So they stick yeah. with the space force. Yeah. 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 But he sings Which Kokomo, just, so we're good. Yeah. yeah. He's Michael yeah. Scott again. Mm, it's exactly well, what it's, it is. I mean, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much it's just about impossible but the the mix of character actors they have the uh um i need Malkovich. to see who, yeah malkovich jeez um uh jin yang from silicon valley is always a big uh mm-hmm. big winner for me i think his actual name is jimmy o yang but um yeah the uh that show like fits an arc for me of of just awesomeness Office Space, obviously Mike Judge's uh, film, just a piece of awesomeness. Um, the uh, what's the Idiocracy fits in there, though not as many mm-hmm. people watch it. Um, yeah, sure. The Office itself, great show. I never actually finished the American Office. I kind of made it two thirds of the way through. I need to go back and finish that at some point. But I did enjoy that. Uh, Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley is so much of my life. Like that entire show. I've I've lived so many pieces of it, except for the parts where people have lots of money. But it but everything else. And then this feels like an arc where I mean the Space Force is something that exists right now. I know when they conceived this, it was some laughed at notion or whatever, but uh the most recent graduating class of the United States Air Force Academy, you know, it commissioned some of the first United States Space Force officers ever. This is a big deal that that happened weeks ago, and this show is about to come out in a few weeks. Everybody that's in the Space Force is going to be forced to watch this show, dumb and asinine and wrong as it is, and they're going to be framed. Everybody's going to think of them, however it's it's portrayed in the show, no and question. I love that. I think it's I think it's going to be ridiculous. Um, yeah, but but it should be fun. Well, I guess they had the show like partially written f- to be s- slightly different. Yeah. And as soon as Trump went Space Force, he's like, "Oh, I got the," and he just do and they just rushed it in. So it's you gave him a layup for God's sakes. I mean, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It was a meatball. It's gonna. But be I mean, interesting. It's that, it's, I'm curious how they're gonna film. Like, is it mockumentary style like The Offices, or is it a little more I, like sitcommy? I honestly, uh, other than that trailer, which could have been from anything, right? It's it's tough to say. Yeah, I mean, there was a couple times where they fourth wall look at the camera and stuff in it, but I don't know, we'll have to see. So, yeah. if it's mockumentary style, we've been over this. I'll mull over it. So, yeah, that's kind of my thing. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's it's high on my list. <coughs> okay, don't die. So, spring, man, I can't help it. I'm, I'm dying, dying everywhere. Yeah, allergies are a little bad. Ah, oh, they're brutal. Okay, so. At the end of the actual Star Wars news. And there's not a ton of it, so it's not going to be a, you know, it's like, the, you know, there's no movie this year or nothing like that, but yeah. they did um release some stuff that probably would have been normally saved for like a celebration, which mm-hmm. isn't happening. Or at least it looks like, Chris, did they officially cancel celebration yet? No, they haven't canceled their It's not looking good official, though. Um, they've already sent out the notice just in case, in case we have to cancel. About the yeah, refund policy know, um, or rolling over tickets and yeah, Power Morphicon, which was like two weeks before celebration in, in Anaheim, they kiboshed already. So yeah, the um, Disney's kind of controlling the world there. They have other Star Wars events, so if they can get Disneyland open, I think they yeah. can try. Yeah, but California's kind of being a bear about the whole thing. Mm. Yeah, God <laughs> not forbid as bad they as want in their golf courses. <laughs> we were the last state to open those. I know. Like you can't borrow someone's club. Oh, sorry. God damn. Yeah, no, California's ahead of us. Of course, they jokes. I forgot board. my sandwich. Ridiculous. No, you can't. Anyway, yeah. so. Mm, open-faced okay, so. club. 
sand wedge. <laughs> you don't have to use the sand. Most of the courses are telling you to just drop. Yeah, just drop. Don't touch the no flag. Yeah, yeah, there's no rakes. They took the, everything away. You savages that golf like twice a year, you don't rake the goddamn sand. They have the nerve to tell stuff. you not to wash your balls either. Nope, they're taking all the ball washers around. Sean, you can wash yours. I'm, I'm not touching. Okay, so no, golf, don't <laughs> wash. I'm not don't, touching. We have not touching the unwashed the balls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so the biggest thing to come out. Was, Sean? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Where was I? I forgot. All right. So Tyke is getting a Star Wars movie. Okay. Yes. yes. How so I mean, long there have been some rumors. Yeah. yeah, there have been some rumors, but yeah, and not only he's they're they're letting him do his whole thing. They're letting him write it and direct it. So good. Right. That can I hope only be good. Kathleen Kennedy doesn't like it, and then she'll fire you and bring in somebody else to finish your movie. Yeah, I, I gotta think that Tyke is, Tyke is in a different space than those boys. I gotta hope that wouldn't happen. I mean, he's got that Thor mojo going, well, so I think he's kind yeah, of he's already he he's already in the club. I, mean, I think so. He he caught up to the other boys now. He has an Oscar, Did which man. the other boys had when they got hired. So yeah. that's true. I don't think anybody <laughs> is. I don't think anybody is immune. I'm hoping they let him finish his movie. Let him do his thing. Hopefully. Yeah. It's going to be interesting because it looks like it's going to be a one-off. Um, it'll be set in a different time frame than what we're used to. Mm. So, I mean, he could really do anything. I mean, it could be a comedy for all we know. It could be some goofy, like, you know, heist comedy movie or something. Uh, who knows? That sounds that's, fantastic. That's, that's that's no good. <laughs> all you Star Wars fans lost your shit when we tried to do something different a little while ago. So I'm okay with different when it doesn't. So I'm fine with different as long as you because you're staying in a different time frame. You go. Poor Mr. Johnson had to go do murder mysteries after. You know, you drove him the fuck away. It's nuts. Yeah. Don't play with my toys. (laughs) That was an eerily accurate impersonation. I think, yeah, no, that's, that's that's pretty close to it, actually. I have nothing else to do in quarantine. I'm just practicing. <laughs> just just brushing up on your DJ? Yep. <laughs> Which is just, a, it's only like 10 degrees removed from a Cartman. Yes. It's yeah. not far. It's, it's you know, I <laughs> never knew that. I did not see that. You guys are good. I can't, <clears throat> I can't stop seeing that now. Mm, oh, no. <laughs> beef cake, beef cake. Where is your, uh, where is your giant... Uh, thing of uh cheesy poops is it gone um yeah i've, I've killed my latest can of cheese balls <laughs> have you been trying to stay with the cheese ball challenge with portnoy every night no i know world records one. he'll do random videos where he brings out the giant utz can like you have oh really just tossing up as far as he can to see how many in a row he can catch and he'll pin people he'll get like twenty thousand people watching on instagram he'll just he, pin he knows one how to do it he'll, man. he'll set an over under yeah and he'll send them like have you heard of the unboxings that they're doing? No. People are literally sending. He started with frozen pizza reviews. Oh, yeah. People started sending him those. And then the people just started ovens. sending him gifts, coolers yeah, and freezers and, and cutters like this, weapons. So now he's getting hundreds of packages a day. Oh. They're doing separate unboxing videos that go for four hours. Ugh. So he'll do the cheese ball challenge, pick somebody. If they guess the right over under, they can pick something from the other night's unboxing. <laughs> awesome. That's Somebody cool. got these gorgeous bar stool uh, cornhole boards. I mean, this this is like expensive shit that companies are sending to him. Marketing company, all kinds of stuff. Really, it's nuts. He's gotten more jerseys. You'd be in heaven. He must be up to fifty hockey jerseys. I love hockey jerseys. I'm I'm just stuck clothes? on the expensive cornhole. Cornhole boards are not cheap because they're still holding your balls. Are uh, they're expensive? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're not. They're not cheap. You You're gonna have to show us your hands play. in a second. What the hell were we talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. So Tyke's getting a Star Wars movie. Yes. Um, yes. Of course. Sorry, so I don't, Wood I mean, Miller. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, they haven't said when it's going to take place. I'm kind of hoping it's maybe farther ahead, kind of. But All right. They got to space it, it out good. a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely. Yeah. It won't be like, you know, there's no Ray, I don't think, or anything like that. So, hmm. it should be good. Um, also, the people that are getting some stuff. Um, they are doing um an all female uh show. We're not all female, like a female structured show around female characters. Okay. And um, okay. I guess there's like some Oscar movie called Russian Doll or something like that that the director's getting. 
Russian Doll. Yeah, it was some big was um, a Netflix series. Netflix, right? Netflix. Yeah, but it won like an Emmy or something like that, or something like that. Wasn't that the uh, Natasha Leone? Um, is that her name? The now girl that was on bad. Orange Is the New Black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to feel bad if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Natasha Leone, Leone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that was in American Pie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's yeah. her. Yeah, we watched that. That was that was a that was a messed up, strange show that I really enjoyed. I yeah. I like her. If you if you don't really like her, you're not gonna enjoy watching that much of her. But it was it was fantastic. Um. So 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 she is She's Kevin Cannon. You have to like her. Yeah. So is she mm-hmm. getting a Star Wars show herself? Whoever whoever wrote and and produced or directed that series uh, okay. is getting the show. But you know those people tend to bring you know bring their people with them. So. Okay. There's a, there's she a was good, one uh, of the creators of it, but I don't, you know, I'd have to check. Yeah. Um, so also, uh, some Mandalorian news came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. They talked to the guys from the VF, VF, VFX studio who said that uh, nothing's getting delayed. The season's on on pace to release what it's supposed to. It was like all the principal was already in the can pretty much. So we should be okay for season two Mandalorian coming in the fall. Nice. And some of the people directing those episodes, hmm. uh, yeah. it's going to be stellar. So you have yeah. your, um, yeah. So I mean, you have your returning cast. You have your, I think, um, Bryce Howard's coming back. Favreau's obviously running the whole thing. Uh, yep. Filoni, Taika, and um, Rick's come back. But you're also getting uh, Robert Rodriguez. Yes. He talked about the rumor. He's confirmed. He sent the picture out with him on set mm-hmm. with the yeah. baby Yoda. Yep. So that I mean I can only imagine. I'm a huge Robert Rodriguez fan. Oh, me too. So that's yeah. That's I mean, come cool. on, you gave me Sky High. You know, Spy Kids is that what it was? Yeah, yeah Spy Kids. Yeah, yeah Sky High was movie? awesome too. That was a good movie. Spy. But um, yeah. So I mean, I can only imagine the shootout scene in that episode. I cannot wait. I hope like they storm like an Imperial barracks or something like that. I hope there's a guitar. Yes. <laughs> Bring your like guitar. Fing- like the finger and Dan band just walking so almost another yep. the guitar cases and shit. That's right. Uh, on two guys standing outside of a cantina just talking yep. just because it would piss you off so much <laughs> and one of them is Cheech <laughs> no. oh go. my god what if you got what if you got Cheech snuck in outside here the titty twister <laughs> you got the Mandalorian outside of the titty <laughs> yep I, I would like Treo? that uh, uh, you think I mean, sneaking Treo in there Tre- Treo will do anything why not I love uh, love Danny it. Treo Star Wars figure get him soon what he's He's getting up there in age. What, yeah, he's, he's like old. 70. 70 yeah. something, yeah. And he would still kick my ass. Mm. Yeah, but even when he was long, even when he was young, he had a he had a face that looked like it was 60, right? It was I mean, he didn't, like start, yeah. he didn't like start acting until he was in his 50s, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's it. He was a late bloomer. Good yeah. for him. Yeah. Um, and then on top of Rodriguez, um, Peyton Reed is doing an episode too. Hmm. Which keeping is keeping all their toys close. Yeah. Which is why I think they're going to fire Tyke off a movie, but. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's going to be awesome. I mean, they just, like, they have the, uh, they have, like, the dream team working on this thing, which is why I think it worked out so well for season one. So yeah, Just a bunch of people having fun with great toys, great production, and. Uh, they gave and, it to the right guy to develop yeah. it. Yes. I mean, well, the golden child. He's. Yeah. The backbone of the MCU. It doesn't well, start without that, that, Iron Man that movie. Yeah, but now that you gave him like like Dave Filoni, like his right hand man with this, and that guy knows. I mean, mm. guy lives Star Wars. He might be the biggest Star Wars nerd I can think of. So they have, they do have a, a good compass. Excuse me. Hmm. Just so everybody knows, it's five thirty in the afternoon. It's past <laughs> one's bedtime. His glass of warm milk should be arriving soon. <laughs> to be fair. Honestly, I, I'm I've not gonna crap on him because I'm at the point where the days and the hours are all just kind of blunt. It's an, like it's the age, man. I'm tired by eleven. It's like I'm just I'm toast. I'm probably gonna go to Baptist, honestly. I'm just I'm cooked. But <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, so that was you know, like I said, there wasn't a ton of Star Wars news, but those were some pretty big things. The Mandalorian is obviously what we're getting next, so um Excellent. I mean, it's it's good, nice to know what's going on with it. Um, there was some collectible news also. Hot Toys is doing a Boba Fett 
uh, much like the one Sean has, but painted like the vintage Kenner figure. And it looks sweet. And then as Chris said, there was a thousand Lego sets that came out. Oh my God. The helmets were kind of nice though. The helmets were cool. The helmets were cool. I need to look for that uh, hot toys to see what it looks like. I still have, kills me, I have the, the Han Solo and Carbonite unboxed. I've never even opened the card. I wanted box. to buy that back in the day just for the Han Solo, Han Solo in it. I didn't care about the Boba Fett. I just wanted the Carbonite. <laughs> well, I, I bought them separate, right? I, I bought yeah. my Han Solo, but they or bought my Boba Fett, but they the Carbonite hadn't been made for a while when I got that one and I wasn't buying then. And so they did a, a run of them later. And, and yeah. so I I just it's have pretty never sweet. There's a new, them. there's a Empire Vader one too coming out that looks hmm. pretty nice, but nice. High toys are good. You need one of the full size ones, Sean. I would love one, okay. but that's never happening. Yeah, I think Jim Lee has one. Hmm. When he moved from New York to California, he was posting pictures in his house, and the life size Star Wars figures were the first things that were being set up. Yeah, the full ridiculous. size carbonite's pretty sweet. Yeah, he had the Vader with the the Royal Guard, the whole thing. It's oh, he, it was nuts. It's ridiculous. You got to have a ridiculous place to have that kind of stuff. Yeah. Little aside, I'm going to jump. Have you guys watched at all what Jim Lee's been raising on those auctions? It's, no. We are 33 days money. in. Yeah. He's over $300,000. That's ridiculous. And that doesn't, I don't think that counts the other artists that have been joining to just yeah. do one off. Sinkevich did a have- Bizarro. Dave Mandel bought another one. Sinkevich did Bizarro. He scooped that one up. <laughs> the Lobo that he has up there right now is otherworldly. It's unbelievable. No, I've I've been avoiding avoiding everything, honestly. It's easy to look at those because there's no, no possibility way. under yeah. God's green earth. You can by the time you look at it, if you maybe get there first, you get bid a hundred bucks and then it disappears. Yeah. But you at least got a bid in, I guess. But no, it's they're cranking away. He's got twenty seven more days. Crazy. So they should, they will comfortably clear half a million. Oh yeah, just off his efforts. I'll buy the book when they put it out. Yes, that that will be cool. Nice hardcover. There you go. So, so yeah, so I think some other stuff coming out. Like there's, uh, they're talking about possibly New Mutants might go straight to video on demand or Disney Plus. That's being worked out right now. Expect to announce. Hey, why not? Heard. The yep. theaters can't shut down Disney. <laughs> they won't have True. theaters. So, exactly. unlike um, Universal. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a live stream of John Wick coming up with Keanu and Holly Berry. Mm-hmm. Did you start getting the text today? I got it. The switchboard is back open. Yep, I did. So those little clips. Yeah, they're doing a. Did you reply? I know it is. The switchboard is in my office. Did you? Say- <laughs> no, somebody else open. I, had, I own the fucking thing. Of course, I, of course. Goddamn internet open. connection went out. It would have been no. Yeah. <laughs> I just have pieces. <laughs> And then see what else? Um, Flash Gordon is coming to 4K, mm-hmm. fully remastered with a remastered soundtrack. Oh, you got the Nick Fury news on your list there. Oh yes, there's a Fury yeah. file Disney Plus thing coming too. But I, I I was hard trying to figure out are they shorts? Some like um, anthology. I don't know, and it's it's animated. Huh. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be Fury's take on some of the events, as opposed to. I, I couldn't really tell from the synopsis if it's. Him getting the team together, yeah. like his it's, dossiers on the individual yeah, ones, or it kind of sounded like they basically took what should have been the Louis show from Ant Man and put Nick Fury in it instead. <laughs> okay, but yeah. So yeah, one of those things. To be fair, I love Michael Pena, but uh, I still rather listen to Samuel Jackson. That's true. What if you can curse? Um, uh, Disney Plus is getting a National Treasure TV show with Nicolas awesome. Cage. No, it's going to be like um, a younger generation of like treasure hunter kind of thing. Nick's busy. He's got to go play the Tiger King. He's got to go play Tiger King. I did. I saw some one liner about that. What is that about? Yeah, no, he signed on. He's playing Tiger. He's in. He's in playing Tiger a movie King. and a series. Uh, no, a series, right? Like an yep. eight or ten episode thing. Yeah. Yep. I mean, there's no way it. it it's got to be better than the actual one. It Probably. can't be worse. Yeah, I, I don't think it can be worse. Nick Cage accepts your diagnosis. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's amazing. But yeah. That's pretty much all I got. I mean, it's, like I said, it's 
kind of slow going because no one, you know, no one's jumping on the gun to announce new stuff or release dates or anything. And stupid worrying about health like, and livelihoods and safety. Well, I'm, How dare I'm saying just everything's kind of stopped. It's yeah, you're still a little bit away from away from things really ramping up at all. Like even yeah. in states where they're opening the entertainment venues yeah. are just saying no. Like Alamo yeah. Draft House could open in Texas. Yep. They said they're not until there's better testing and they can get to a point where they're comfortable. Yeah. They're not even going to consider it. Until there's some kind of law protection is probably what they're waiting for. Mm. Yeah, that there's going to be lawsuits either way. That's <coughs> there are going to be so many lawsuits. I don't know. How, I mean, can you sue someone because you get the cold? Get a cold? I mean, I don't. You get can it. sue somebody for anything. That's yeah, true. It's literally That's true. anything. Mm-hmm. True. And if you put enough pressure, you can get money out of anybody for just. <laughs> That's. That's true. Oh, I got more. The only reason news. I have a job. One more What's piece that? of news. So it only really applies to me. So there's been some awesome video game stuff coming out because video games haven't slowed down. The video game industry is just printing money right now for obvious reasons. But for the first time ever, a fighting game is having a full-blown expansion coming out. So at the end of this month, they're going to drop Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. It's a full new story mode for the game, and it comes with a RoboCop. So I get to play as RoboCop. So I'm very excited. Interesting. That's about it. I have Mortal Kombat 11. I unwrapped it. I don't think I ever installed it. It's so good. That's my, that's my game, though. I love that game. I liked all the downloadable characters. Like, oh, that'd be fun. And then I never got around to... Yeah. As usual, nah. I never get around to playing it. RoboCop is coming, so. Mm. So, yeah, so. Excellent. I got nothing else. Anyone else <laughs> want to chime in? Anything? Nope. <laughs> no? No. Top three time. Top three. Short uh. episode. So, I said Star Wars Day just came and gone. Um, Star Wars Day is, you know, the the new cool, you know, fake holiday. <laughs> um, so, I figured, uh, let's go top three fake made up holidays. You know, your normal holidays, like, you know, right. Christmas or whatever. I, I, I got a few. You know. Um, I don't have any honorable mentions, but I think uh, I don't. Yeah. No. Keep it tight. All right. All right. So my number three, Grandparents Day. Grandparents Day. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're the reason the virus is popping. You just don't like old people. No, I love them. Every day I spent with my grandparents was Grandparents Day. The whole point of once you're a grandparent, it's. It's the, you know, it's one of the achievements of life, honestly, I think, right? It, it, it has none, to none be. None of us are grandparents. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank you for not throwing me uh, under the age bus there. Um, you know sad? I'll probably be the first one because just math-wise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, no, you will. <laughs> you will. Yes. Yeah. That, that's statistically no more likely. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I don't think they need their own day. I think every day that you're a grandparent. Or every day you get to see your grandkids is Grandparents Day. Should we put the caveat at the top that's essentially any day that you can buy a card at Hallmark? Yeah. Is bullshit oh, that yeah. was created yeah, just yeah. to? Yeah, but I'm thinking like, you know, like Christmas is kind of like an actual holiday and like. Like you can you get know. a card for good. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, Oh, God, that's one of my stickers. I love this argument. Um. Is the actual holiday of Christmas or the pagan gift giving thing that you all do? I'm just curious because my whoever number has the, three has the most bile, Chris. Just let it go. Uh, they, oh yeah, What's my number num- three is a combination: the whole Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Oh, yeah. fuck okay. you! Yep. It's their excuses to go shopping for the random day that you pick to give forced gifts. Yeah. Oh yeah. That has nothing to do with the actual holiday itself. I, you like I those agree. days. I agree. I do. No, I'd rather have a happy Tuesday. Like, if I surprise you with a gift on a Tuesday, yes. like, this is fucking sweet. I just got a random gift. Yes. I set a day out in the future somewhere where you got to go shopping. Oh, yeah. fuck. Now I got to go to the mall and deal with all the other fucking mouth breathers to I, buy a gift that I don't know what the fuck you want. You yep. wouldn't buy your own shit. I am, just so I can I give you a gift not, on that day. I'm not big on that aspect. I, I so find Chris it hates, tough to fall. Chris hates holidays so much that his top three is just the stuff he hates the least. This is true. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Yeah. Let's yeah. inventing yeah. days. And insert any other day that's just for the purpose of buying something. Yeah. Mother's okay. Day and Father's Day. Stupid. It's, there Dumb. you go. Dumb. 
Christmas is essentially kids day. Yeah. Cuz yep. if you need a fucking pair of jeans, you're going to go buy the jeans. You're not waiting till December to replace your fucking holy jeans. I'm sorry. This isn't how this works. Not uh, how any of this works. Yeah. Okay, so Once you get number- to adulting. <laughs> <laughs> What's your number 3 DJ? Uh, my number three uh, favorites. It's a it's a three A three B uh, free comic day slash Batman day. All right, okay. I like free, it's just it's just a reason where to go to the comic book store and yeah, I shoot the shit at the comic book store basically. I call it Wednesday. Yeah, i I don't like uh, I don't like free comic book day. Um, particularly knowing more about on the business side how it's not really good for the the stores in general. Um. I mean, I think anything that gets people into comic stores has a chance of doing good, but usually yeah. doesn't. You know um, who hates free comic book day? Zapsick hates oh, free comic book I, day. Oh, I know. Oh, I love oh. Yeah. So does Walt. He can't. Walt, yeah, Walt does yeah. too. He would light the box on fire if he could. Yeah. Just but it gives you a reason to go to the stash. So that's worth, it's worth it just for that because you can go to the yeah, stash. but plenty yeah. of people go to the stash without free comic book day. Yeah, but usually Kevin's there for free comic book day. Yeah. Um, the... That was for free comic book day, not Kevin. Um, no, but yeah, he was. He's usually there on free comic book day. He does he usually does signings? The uh, Batman day. I I do think that was the beginning of now we have a Wonder Woman day, or we've got attempts at Superman day and Wonder Woman day. Yeah. Um. Obviously, I like Batman. Batman day in recent memory is a special thing for me because it signifies. I mean, honestly, without Batman Day, I might not be as good of friends with Chris as I am, which might not Possible, have let yeah. right. I mean, that you know, that yeah. uh, you know, that just getting together point was one of the times where we hung out more than we had. You know, I mean, it was just mm-hmm. kind of it got got a ball rolling. So I'm I'm not going to shit on Batman Day for that reason. Yeah, but I agree with and you. The I, government was involved. I mean, he got stamps. You know, there was an I, actual proclamation, I, I, and I have, I have framed Batman Day stamps. Yes, <laughs> Chris went to get them. <laughs> oh, you can't see them. There, <laughs> there they are. Yes, I have them. That looks exactly like mine. Very nice. I think yeah, wherever you ordered yeah. them from the post office or some shit. Yep. Um, the uh, all right. So that that number yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, number two. It's all falling apart. Yeah. Number two. Uh, number two, Administrative Professionals Day slash, I think it used to be called Secretary's Day or whatever. Um, now, not because I don't respect administrative professionals or all different auto, uh, uh, you know, office workers um, and having been, you know, uh, all kinds of different, you know, such such workers at different points. Um, but Dig in the hole. Digging the hole, but but the fact is that bringing that kind of bullshit holiday and pressure and expectation into arbitrary offices across the land, which have all I mean that all it does is provide opportunities for bullshit drama and hurt feelings. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean you mm-hmm. shouldn't appreciate the folks that work with you work for you. You you should. And to Chris's point, that should not be a, you know, it should be every freaking Tuesday or it should be just your interactions with them. You know, the people I work with know how I feel about them, right? Yeah. So The so people I work for and the people that work for me absolutely have, you know, have a feeling. I don't, nobody works for me anymore. But but the, it yeah, it's a different discussion. So it's um, your number two favorite, but you don't like it? No. I think it's bullshit because it's, it, well, because it. I don't like it introducing drama False into the workplace. False precedents, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just, it just it's, it's, it's. We bullshit. might as well wrap my number two into it because you right. kind of touched upon it. My number two is Boss's Day. Oh yeah, same oh, thing. Oh yeah, fuck you. It's <laughs> it's another one of those bullshit holidays. And listen, you're already there serving this person. Do you have to have another day where you kneel down and present gifts or Ooh. any of that shit? I mean, you like your boss. Yeah, and that should good be friend, every mine. day. That you're kneeling down and presenting him gifts? Is that while you're touching yeah, no, the balls? No, that was the joke. That was the Okay. Joke. <laughs> <laughs> I swear he's going to work right after this. He's almost done. Uh, no, it's... That's one of those arbitrary... I mean, why would you create something like that where you feel you already have this yeah. odd relationship where you're... 
you know what? Serving that's, this that's other it. person. Or... I hate obligation. That's, that's what it is. That's actually the thing I hate. Obligation. So, by extension, Christmas is the biggest fucking obligation that you have. Here's the day where you have to go buy people. I hate. Here's the list. Yep. It's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, What's your number two? This is a horrible, hateful idea. This is a bad time. I hate. I didn't come up with this one. I just want to remind everyone listening, the subject was my top three favorite fake holidays. Favorite? Yes. We all I don't think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Top three fake holidays. Oh, oh I just said top like, three made up holidays. Yeah. 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 Which means uh, clearly we've your favorite, interpreted it means your favorite three top three. Oh, well, so three. then it would be like Festivus. Yeah, yeah. we've interpreted yeah. this all wrong, DJ. That's okay. As so usual, it's, it's okay. Let us go. So <laughs> too late. On, on a happier note, my number, my number two favorite <laughs> fake holiday is, is free Taco, Tuesday. Uh, Taco Tuesday. Oh, there you go. Taco I wasn't Tuesday. far off. Yeah. Oh, because I like tacos. I feel like such an idiot. And because we didn't put a whole lot of effort into this episode. <laughs> and clearly, I asked Sean for what the topic was before we started. So. This, this was horrible. <laughs> my my number Way to one. to go, snacks. My number one, quote unquote, favorite made up <laughs> holiday. <laughs> Holocaust Survivor's Day. It's, it's Valentine's Day. Um, uh, another arbitrary day for gift giving. Another arbitrary day of obligation. It. I can't the church remember. Church calls those Sunday. And I apologize to my wife or any formal girlfriend that gave me a positive Valentine's Day, but I can't remember it. I, Can all I remember is spreadsheets. Yeah. <laughs> you can't remember anything positive about Valentine's Day? I don't remember having a good Valentine's Day. I don't. I'm sure there have been some. You guys are doing it all wrong at the end of the day. That's There's got to be something. <laughs> no, that's I, I mean I, I just remember you know, it's obligation and, and pressure, and I'm a shitty, horrible person, and a bad boyfriend, and a bad husband. <laughs> and, there are and, so many jokes to be made. <laughs> uh, so uh, <laughs> let's let's move on. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> it's all falling apart. Oh, it's a disaster. <sighs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Oh, you make it too easy, my friend. Way too easy. The amount of self-control. Thank DJ's you. DJ's like, what the fuck just happened? Thank you for... I uh, see you looking under the brim of your hat. Thank you for uh, for being nice. Uh, uh, unlike okay. all of my girlfriends and, and wives. Uh. <laughs> Good restraint, Chris. What's your number okay. one? This is actually a real holiday. Yep. But it always bugged the shit out of me because it was a random day that my dad, who worked for the state, yep. got off every year that nobody else in the world did. It's just the city of Boston. Yep. There's a holiday for Bunker Hill Day. Yeah. Yep. A, it exists only within the city limits of Boston, hmm. which happens to be where the DMV headquarters oh, is. Yep. Which shuts down the DMV across the entire state. Yep. So he'd have this one random day off for the entire time he worked for the state mm -hmm. that nobody else under God's green earth got off. It sounds perfect. And it, no, it's it's an absolute joke of all. He was happy and sit around pre Netflix days and just watch TV or watch CNN for eight hours or some shit like that. But uh, it would just seem so stupid and made up. Just always bugged the shit out of me. Valentine's Day, Bunker Hill Day. What do you got, DJ? You Bring it home, baby. <laughs> I got nothing. No. So I'll, th I'll throw a stupid one out there. So like a stupid one that I hated that only was in a small area. When I was in high school, we had King Kamehameha Day in Hawaii. Oh, I, in the that fucking seems, that seems world right. Pineapple? <laughs> that seems that seems right. We'll go to the pineapple maze, right? No, I mean love Dole. You know, love going to Dole. Oh. You realize the state of Hawaii has a history that goes beyond the United States. And, I know, but it's the closest thing I had to Bunker Hill Day. So, yeah, see, it sounds made up. Yeah. It, you say it with the appropriate yeah. amount of disdain. Yeah, because if you're not in Hawaii, you're like, ah, oh, it's King Kamehameha Day. People go, who the fuck is King Kamehameha? Yeah. Mm. Is he yeah. the Rock's cousin or something or uncle or yeah. something yeah. like that? <laughs> uh, What's your actual favorite? Okay, so my fa my yeah. favorite made-up holiday. Actually, it's, it's kind of worse for both because it it's been my favorite for a long, long time. Going forward, it probably won't be my favorite that much anymore. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday. 
Um, Come on, we might still have the chance to root against Brady one day. (laughs) I've had some really great Super Bowl Sundays. I've I've probably had more. I've had probably had more good Super Bowl Sundays and Christmases or Easter's or anything else. So interesting. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. Like no need to get into why. Obviously, people know why. It's a Uh, that's a yin and yang holiday for me. Yeah. Yeah. Six really good ones, and you know, five not so good. Yeah. But it's certainly a made up holiday. It is. Though, though it's on a Sunday always, so it's yeah. Not but people have like really started petitions to try to get the Monday after off and stuff, and mm, there's well, like yeah. there's flyers just for it, and there's cards for it, and T-shirts, yeah. and it, you know, if if your team blows a perfect season, sometimes you don't go back to work until like Thursday. Yeah, I mean, yep. yeah, yep. people I mean, doing wellness checks at your house. I, I do think I for puke so bad after that. East game. East Coast sports fans should get, uh, you know, a couple hours leeway on Monday morning. You know, we get screwed all the time. I thought of a new one. What? Mm. New one I fucking hate. Truck day. Fucking stupid truck day. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, that's a Boston uh, thing. I've oh. never heard of truck day. It's the day. day that the big um, semi-trucks Equipment pack truck. up all the shit and go to spring training. Oh, yeah. So fucking stupid. stupid people actually day. go to the park to watch this shit. Yeah, and like when Kino sits out there, like uh, Tom Warner with his like fucking go Red Sox. Let's go Red Sox. Fuck you. What up, you got Everyone buy a brick. And sign your players. <laughs> Pricks. Uh, all right, this, this, uh, I'd like. We're all tired. We're all grumpy. <sighs> <laughs> I think, I think we should. has gone off the rails. <laughs> we should forget that this top three. I can't breathe. Happened. No, I, I love the fact that we went in so many different directions. Like DJ's earnestly saying, I love tacos. Fuck bosses. <laughs> fuck secretaries. Fuck Christmas. Fuck the Easter bunny. <laughs> I hate old people. <laughs> Leprechauns. Everybody. Sean doesn't like dogs, <laughs> old people. You're essentially Don John. Friends. Yeah. Oh, no. Exactly. You're David Sims from Tin Cup. This is he doesn't like loves dogs or you? old people. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, uh, you don't like kids either. Yeah. I clearly like nothing. Oh. He's like, fuck You like your balls? You were holding them day. before. <laughs> kindergarten registration day? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> no. Oh, please make you- it end. Follow <laughs> us on Twitter at fman37. We don't even get a recap this time. He's just pushing by. No, no recap. No, forget it. Just go listen no. to one of the other episodes. They're a lot better than this one. Just yes. it's it's not our fault. It's 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 quarantine's fault. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> Stop saying that. The only thing that's worse than nothing to talk about is continually saying there's nothing to talk about. Next episode, we're going to rank all Boston sports settles the last twenty years. That should be an <laughs> audience of two. Yeah. Oh. Now I will we'll come. We'll have to come up with something. Oh. So mm. <laughs> we'll come up with something. So yeah. So like Sean said, at Fman thirty seven on Twitter. If you watch this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Please, even if you don't watch anything, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and everyone have a good night. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.